Like you guys are terrible people. All of you suck. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amai and this is Beat TV. Beat TV is a series on my channel where we watch an episode of a TV show. It's been mostly cartoons, we could switch it up if you want to. While I put my makeup on, I know I wasn't here last week. We're not gonna talk about it. We're just gonna forgive and we're gonna move forward. Three videos a week is hard to maintain. I work full time, I'm a busy lady, what can I do? Today is the last Tuesday in June when this will be uploaded and it's Pride. So I was alerted of this video by a subscriber. I'll try to find the comment, it was from months ago. Today we're watching Lloyd in Space. I've had some requests for Lloyd in Space over the time and I'm finally doing Lloyd in Space because they have addressed a topic that most cartoons that I've seen have not addressed, which is non-binary people. Back in whatever year this was, let me Google it, in 2002. So we're gonna watch it. Today we're watching season two, episode 16, called Neither Born, N ooh. My tongue almost jumped out of my mouth. Neither Born, oh my God. Neither boy nor girl. And we're just gonna get started. So the episode begins and the guys are at the lunch table and they are complaining about the lunch. They're saying Fridays have kind of become the worst day in the cafeteria, the lunch sucks. And Eddie comes with his boombox and starts playing some music. And they're doing like cute rock bandy type stuff. When one of the girls comes over and is like, police, we don't need this icky boy music during lunchtime, okay, there are other people here. Uh, be considerate. And I feel homegirl because I I had dated this guy where like we would be in the car with a bunch of our friends and he would just be like in the back seat listening to his own music with no headphones, just like being a dick. <laughs> Like, dude, and I hated this man. I don't know why I dated him for so long, but I'm like, literally like, dude, I hate you. This is so inconsiderate. I hate when people do that. Like, even on public transportation, like, why are we on the subway and you're, you have a speaker playing 21 Savage? What are we doing? But then Shorty goes back to her own table and does the same thing the boys were doing just with different music. Boy, girl, it's annoying. I'm going to zoom you guys in because I feel like Y'all are so far from me. That feels better. Okay, but the boys are sitting there like, are we for real? So Eddie goes off, oh my God. So Eddie goes over and turns off Britney's boombox and he's like, that music is ass. And she's like, well, your brain is rotted. So you guys don't have good taste because you keep listening to that screaming rock stuff. And they're just basically going back and forth like, girls are better, boys are better, bleh. So the boys and the girls are going at it and they're like, we need an impartial party on what's right like are the girls right or are the boys right so they're like let's ask the new kid over there at that table named zoit and zoit's just sitting there minding their business so they go over to zoit's table and they're like zoit who do you think is better aurora which is the girls artist or total cosmic annihilation and zoit kind of gives like a well aurora's music is very soft very this so it's good in that respect but total cosmic annihilation's music is very powerful and basically apples to oranges like they're both good for different reasons why are we fighting <laughs> and they're like mm, that's too neutral i need an answer oh so one of the boys is like see he likes our music better and they're like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. zoit is not a boy? You think Zoit is a boy? And Eddie's like, well, what? You think he's a girl? And they're like, he obviously has common sense. So, a girl. But then the boys and the girls go their separate ways and they're like, is Zoit a boy? We really don't know. So the boys have the same discussion like, I didn't think Zoit was anything but a boy. And one of the guys is like, well, let's ask him. And they're like, whoa, you can't just go around asking people if they're boys or girls. Period. Let them tell you. Not your business. So Eddie is like, okay, we won't ask. We'll just observe Zoe. Their behaviors will let us know what gender they are. So in class, they're like, okay, if Zoe comes with a, like a pink and cuddly notebook, she's a girl. But if anything like race cars and whatever, he's a boy. Very surprised they're not used. Ah, uh, 
am I? That they're not using they, them pronouns? Eh, not really. It was 2002, you know? Like, it feels like a new concept even now. So I get why they're not using they, them pronouns, but it would have been kind of cool. I mean, if the writers of this show are in fact writers, <laughs> they are should be aware of they, them pronouns. So the boys are watching and Zoit takes out their notebook and on one side it has aliens and hot rods and flames and whatever. And then on the other side it has unicorns and rainbows. So they're like, still unsure of what this person is. So at the end of the day, they're like, all right, the boys, of course, because the girls aren't partaking in this foolishness. They're like, okay, so it's the end of the day. Everyone's going to ride their bikes home and we'll see if Zoit rides home on a girl bike or a boy bike. And the only difference between the girl bikes and boy bikes is that the boy bike is red and the girl bike is pink. Not like any structural differences, nothing, just the color. But Zoit rides home on a unicycle, which is no color. And he's like, bye guys, we'll see ya. It's like, I still can't determine what you are. <laughs> so over the weekend at the mall, sorry, I have my blush palette in my lap. Over the weekend at the mall, the boys die make a plan so like we're gonna get Zoit to drink a bunch of they have some like frosty whatever it's a big old soda we're gonna get Zoit to drink this big old soda and then we'll see what bathroom they go into can you believe I'm a blush girly now like literally I've had this blush palette forever like it's eyeshadows on the top and then blushes at the bottom this is from BH cosmetics that's how old this is because who no shade but BH the girlies aren't really using BH cosmetics these days can you believe the only reason why I haven't been wearing blush is because this is at the bottom of my makeup caboodle and I didn't want to dig it out? Laziness at its finest. I haven't used this thing in years because I've been lazy. Crazy. So they're like, we're just going to give Zoit a bunch of juice and then we'll see what bathroom they go into. Smart idea, smart idea. No, it's not. Literally, no, it's not. The boys walk over and they're like, what, what are you doing with Zoit? You don't know if they're a boy or a girl either? So the girls fill Zoit up with this soda and then Zoit excuses themselves to go, what they assume is to the restroom, but he really just, oh my God, he, ah, we don't know this person's gender, ah. <laughs> they just go to the water fountain to wash their mouths out because they don't want all that sugar on their teeth getting cavities. And the girls are like, um, hello, you don't have to use the restroom. Like you just drank all that stuff. Like go pee, we need to know. <laughs> and Zoit is like, what are you doing? <laughs> so the boys are like, we just gotta know, are you a boy or a girl? Because we can't tell. And Zoit's like, I'm neither. Period, Zoit. But you shouldn't have to explain yourself to these idiots. So Zoit says, in my alien species, we are neither boy or girl until our 13th birthday where we get to choose who we become. And my 13th birthday is on Monday. So I gotta go home so that I can tell my mom what kind of cake I want for my birthday. And I can already feel the madness about to ensue. So the girls are like, well, obviously they're gonna choose to be girl. And the boys are like, are you kidding? No one would choose that. <laughs> they're gonna choose to be a boy. And they're just going back and forth, of course. And no one says, hey, y'all, let's just wait and see what Zoit chooses. But of course, of course, that's not going to happen. So Brittany's like, well, if you're so sure that Zoit is going to choose to be a boy, put your money where your mouth is. And if Zoit chooses to be a boy, I'm sorry, if Zoit chooses to be a girl, you have to buy us tickets to this music festival to go see Aurora back when concert tickets were like $10 because there's no way I'm bet at no no I would back out so quickly with the price of tickets today absolutely not and the boys do the same thing if you guys lose then you have to buy us tickets to see total cosmic annihilation at their tour again crazy <laughs> literally ran out of space on my camera or on my SD card so the boys realize that the girls are gonna try to influence Zoit in either direction. So the guys are like, 
we kind of got to do the same thing. So the girls are taking Zoit to this like sappy love movie. The girls take Zoit to like this exercise class. Uh, they take Zoit shopping. They take them uh, to this sappy movie and Zoit is having a good time. I feel really bad for Zoit because although they're treating them to like this really cute day. It's like, it's not genuine. They just want to know what gen, like they, they just want to win the gender war between the boys and the girls. And that really sucks because Zoit is new in school and I'm just putting glue on my lash. And Zoit deserves to have genuine friends and this is really, really sucky for them. But while they're doing all of these like traditionally feminine things, each one of the guys is kind of into it. Like Eddie was into the shopping, Kurt was into the movie. So it's like, there is no rigid line between boy and girl, which I think is what Disney was trying to say at the point, at this point. But yeah, sorry, like it's out of frame, but I'm literally just putting lash, oh my God, glue on my lash. So the guys decide like, well, we're just gonna take Zoit out to a guy day and then they won't have any desire to choose to be female after that. So the boys are literally just eating chili dogs and burping and then that's boy time. Sorry I keep adjusting the angle. It's just I had to check my settings and now like my setup looks odd. But yeah. And Zoid's also having a good time doing these boy things as well. So the boys and the girls run into each other and the girls are like, Zoid, you've been hanging out with these icky boys doing boy stuff all day. You're not into that. And Zoid is like, well, yes I am. I had a really good time. And the guys are like, see, he wants to be a boy. And the girls are like, no, she doesn't know any better. And they're like, if you're playing dirty, the bet is off. And they're just going back and forth and back and forth. So Zoe is like, bet? What are you talking about? There's a bet? Like you guys are betting on whether or not I'll be a boy or a girl? Like I thought you guys were actually my friends. Being hurt, like genuinely hurt. Like you guys are terrible people. All of you suck. Like Ah, That's why you've been so nice to me! You each want me to support your side! Well, no, Zoe, it's not just that. Come on, Lloyd, I'm not stupid! Or maybe I am. Stupid enough that I would actually believe you were my friends. And they realize what they've done by using Zoit as a pawn in their gender war and they're like i i genuinely i was genuinely enjoying my time with zoit like I did, it doesn't truly matter to me if zoit is a boy or a girl like we had a good time together which should have been the sentiment in the first place so the boys decide like it doesn't matter if zoit is a boy or a girl we are gonna go apologize to zoit and zoit this angel the guys pull up on their bikes to see zoit on this bench by themselves and the this angel zoit is like i'm sorry guys i don't mean to be rude but i prefer to be by myself zoit you have every right to be mean <laughs> tear into them rip them apart so the guys pull up with presents for zoit because their birthday is tomorrow and they give zoit this lady perfume and these girly earrings so the girls got zoit a big joke book of stupid dumb jokes and a rock to throw at stuff because the girls have also decided you should go ahead and become a boy. So now the boys and the girls are fighting over. The boys think that Zoe should be a girl. The girls think Zoe should be a boy. And Zoe is like, here you go again. Okay, you guys want to make the best decision for me, but I need to make the best decision for me. And it shouldn't matter if I'm a boy or a girl, I'm still Zoe. And that it's not changing my core identity of who I am. I'm still Zoe. So Zoit gets on their unicycle and rides off. So at school the next day, the boys have a sign that on one side says attaboy, on the other side says you go girl. And they're like, no matter what Zoit chooses, we are supporting them. And then Zoit starts to walk by. So they're like, hey Zoit, what did you choose? Like we support you either way, but we're still dying to know what you chose. And Zoit is like, I have actually decided not to tell anyone because it's not your business. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we end the episode and we don't know what Zoit chose. I love it. Let me finish the recap. Uh, <laughs> so Zoit is just like, you'll know when I finally have a crush on one of you guys, then you'll know my gender. But until then, 
not your business. And now they're going back and forth like, well, Zoid's going to have a crush on me. No, Zoid's going to have a crush on me. And the episode ends and we don't know what Zoid chose. Stay out of queer people's business. They will tell you what you need to know, what they decide you need to know. Stay out of queer people's business. Happy Pride. And I think that's all I really have to say. It was mostly recap centric this episode because Disney did all the work for me. I fully agree with all of the decisions made with this episode. Leave queer people alone and people's gender identity is not your business until they decide to make it your business. Leave queer people alone. No, but seriously, Disney was really progressive with this episode, I think. And a lot of people need to watch this. Will it sink in with the people that need to watch it? Will it resonate with the people that need to watch it? Probably not, but it might give them a different perspective. And you know, we are inching towards inclusion and accepting everyone a little bit at a time even if we've gone so backwards we got to keep working towards going forwards because uh without forward progression what are we also i feel like my makeup came out great today this lash is playing games with me but i feel like my makeup came out great today so my thumbnail is gonna look so cute and that's all i have to say for this episode leave queer people alone they will tell you what they need to, what they feel like they need to tell you in their own time. Respect everybody. Queer people are harmless. If a queer person is not, is harmful, that's because who they are as a person is harmful and it's not because they are queer. And I think that's it. Uh, this was the last episode of Pride Month. I only did two because I was off last week and then I forgot the first month, the first month, the first week of June. But that's it. Leave your suggestions below for what we should do next week because I will be here next week. I promise. And I will see you when I see you. Bye, y'all.